What happens if wine ferments too long? Wine making can be a delicate process. The fermenting of the wine can determine the entire quality, taste, and look for your wine. So it is crucial to make sure you are doing it correctly. Generally speaking, wine can't ferment for too long. The worst that can happen is a miscommunication between the sugar and the yeast due to either using the wrong type of yeast or fermenting under the wrong temperature. Even if this happens, you can still salvage most, if not all, wines. The fermentation process. When talking about whether wine can ferment too long, it is important to know that there often is a primary and secondary fermentation process. When moving your batch of wine from primary to secondary fermentation, it is important to do it correctly. Usually what happens in terms of wine is you transfer the primary fermented batch to another container, typically an oak barrel. The secondary fermentation is either a sort of repeat of the primary or a newly triggered fermentation done by adding sugars. The primary fermentation usually includes the use of some oxygen to kick off the fermentation process. However, the secondary fermentation usually uses airtight containers. In the secondary fermentation, some winemakers add extra sugar to give the yeast more to work with and increase the alcohol potency and taste of the wine. So, can wine really ferment for too long? In conclusion, it is rather difficult to ferment wine for too long. As long as you know what you are doing and keep your wine and its contents conditioned right during fermentation, you shouldn't be able to over-ferment your wine. You can, however, ferment it too long in terms of keeping it in a hostile environment for too long. What is meant by this is that there may be unwanted chemicals or bacteria in your equipment, possibly contaminating your wine if you don't find out fast enough. Four tips for fermenting wine. One, clean and sanitize your equipment. Always keep your equipment clean and sanitized when starting a new batch of wine or any other homebrew for that matter. Two, find the right temperature. The most important and probably the biggest reason fermentation processes in general fail is using the wrong temperature. The general recommendation for fermenting wine in terms of temperature is to keep the temperature between 70 and 75 degrees Fahrenheit. Three, understand your yeast. Make sure you understand the difference in how much sugar yeast can absorb. If you want to buy bulk yeast and store it for longer times, it is a good idea to store your wine yeast in the fridge. Make sure you understand the difference in how much sugar yeast can absorb. Never freeze your yeast, since it can potentially damage their cells, making the yeast unusable or faulty during your next fermentation. 4. Get a hydrometer. Without a hydrometer, you can't be entirely sure the fermentation process has completed, and having one is just nice security to make sure you don't waste any potential alcohol that is in the process of being made.